Imagine the power held within a single bullet. This small object, often overlooked, carries immense significance. It's a small package, often weighing less than a few ounces. Yet, its impact can be monumental. Yet, it holds the potential for both destruction and defense. It can save lives, or take them. From the trenches of war to the peaceful practice ranges, ammunition plays a crucial role. It has shaped history and continues to influence our present. But have you ever stopped to think about how these tiny instruments of power are made? The journey from raw material to finished product is fascinating. The process is a blend of brute force and delicate precision. Each step is meticulously planned and executed. It's a dance between man and machine that transforms raw materials into tools with incredible potential. The synergy is remarkable. In this journey, we'll delve into the gritty world of ammunition manufacturing. We'll see the dedication and skill involved. We'll explore the steps, meet the people, and uncover the secrets behind creating these essential tools. Each bullet has a story. So buckle up and get ready to get your hands dirty as we explore the fascinating world of how ammunition is made. This is a journey into the heart of precision and power. Before we can unleash the power of a bullet, we need to start with the right ingredients. The process begins with selecting the finest raw materials. Ammunition manufacturing relies on a handful of key materials, each playing a critical role in the final product. These materials are meticulously chosen and tested for quality. First up, we've got brass. This alloy of copper and zinc forms the casing, the vessel that holds everything together. Without a strong casing, the bullet would fall apart. Brass is prized for its strength, its ability to be molded under pressure, and its resistance to corrosion. This makes it an ideal material for ammunition casings. We're talking massive coils of brass, each one weighing hundreds of kilos, feeding the hungry maw of the manufacturing process. Next, we've got lead, the heavy hitter in this equation. Lead is crucial for the bullet's core. Lead is what makes up the projectile core, the part that actually flies down range and does the, well, you know. It's dense, it's easy to melt and mold, and it packs a punch. This density and malleability make lead perfect for creating effective projectiles. But lead alone ain't always enough, that's where copper comes in. Copper is used for jacketing bullets. It improves their performance, helps them fly straighter, and reduces wear and tear on the gun barrel. This ensures the longevity and reliability of the firearm. And of course, no bullet would be complete without the boom. Gunpowder, or more accurately, smokeless powder, is the propellant that sends that lead projectile on its way. This explosive force is what propels the bullet towards its target with incredible speed and power. Let's talk about brass. Remember those massive coils we talked about? They get fed into these incredible machines that cut and draw the metal into cylindrical shapes. It's like squeezing toothpaste, except instead of minty freshness, you're getting the building blocks of a bullet. These machines work the brass through multiple stages, stretching it, shrinking it, and shaping it with incredible precision. But brass can be stubborn. Work it too much, and it gets brittle, prone to cracking under pressure. That's where annealing comes in. We're talking about heating the brass to a specific temperature, then carefully cooling it down. This process softens the metal, making it more pliable and ready for the next stage of its transformation. Once the basic shape is ready, it's time for some serious machining. The heart of the matter, projectile production. Now, let's talk lead. We've got our casings prepped and ready, but they need something to, you know, case. That's where the projectiles come in. Lead cores can be made in a couple of ways. One way is extrusion. Imagine pushing Play-Doh through one of those shaped molds. It's kind of like that, but instead of Play-Doh, it's molten lead. And instead of a dinosaur, you're getting perfectly formed bullet cores. Another method is molding. This involves pouring molten lead into a mold and letting it cool and solidify. But we're not just making simple lead balls here. We're talking about projectiles with aerodynamic designs, optimized for flight and penetration. Assembling the puzzle. Creating a cartridge. We've got the casing, we've got the projectile, and we've got all the other ingredients. Now it's time to put it all together. First up, that tiny but mighty primer gets carefully inserted into the primer pocket of the casing. Then, a precisely measured charge of gunpowder is added. Finally, the star of the show, the bullet, gets seated into the casing's neck. The casing is then crimped around the bullet, locking it securely in place. Every step of the assembly process is subject to rigorous quality control checks. We're talking about visual inspections, automated measurements, and even pressure tests to make sure each cartridge is built to spec and ready to perform when it counts. Ensuring perfection. 
quality control measures. We're talking about a product that has the potential to take a life, so there's no room for error. Every step in the production process is meticulously monitored to ensure the highest standards are met. Every single cartridge that comes off the production line goes through a battery of tests to make sure it's up to snuff. These tests are designed to catch even the smallest defects. We're talking about visual inspections with trained eyes looking for any imperfections. These experts are trained to spot flaws that machines might miss. We're talking about automated systems measuring dimensions with laser precision. These machines ensure that every cartridge meets exact specifications. And we're talking about pressure tests that simulate the forces a cartridge experiences when fired. This ensures that each round can withstand the rigors of actual use. Cameras and lasers scan every nook and cranny, ensuring that every dimension, every tolerance, every little detail is exactly right. This level of scrutiny is essential for maintaining quality. If a cartridge fails even one of these tests, it's rejected, pulled from the line, and marked as defective. This rigorous process ensures that only the best products make it to the end. Because when it comes to ammunition, failure is not an option. The stakes are simply too high to allow any margin for error. Lives literally depend on the quality and reliability of every single round. This is why our quality control measures are so stringent and uncompromising. If you like this video, don't forget to like and hit subscribe button.